Hello and welcome to Machine Learning First Steps, a dedicated course on machine learning and machine learning applications, which happens to contain a lot of references to the movie Matrix, since I happen to be among the biggest fans of this franchise. This course is presented to you by Summer. So what exactly is machine learning? Scientists and fiction fans have always dreamt of a world where humans could interact with sentient machines or machines that could think for themselves. So what the term AI means is artificial intelligence. And what artificial intelligence is, it's the ability of the machine to think for itself and execute tasks that, was, that it wasn't explicitly programmed to execute. So that means uh, it is the ability of the machine uh, to think for a solution, for a problem, without being explicitly programmed to execute a set of definite instructions. However, AI is still confined to the works of fiction and we're still so far away from actual AI up until this moment. So where does machine learning stand? Machine learning is a subset of AI, or we can say that machine learning is the first step towards actual AI. So what machine learning is, it refers to the ability of the machine to work on the solution of a problem or try to execute a specific task by introducing several training examples for this machine. So it means the ability of the machine to learn how to execute a specific task and hence the name machine learning. So why should robotics engineers study machine learning? Machine learning is implemented today in a lot of applications which happen to do with robotics. For example, we have autonomous robots like the robot provided in the picture, which happens to be an AOV, which is short for Autonomous Underwater Vehicle. So what this vehicle does is pipeline inspection for the oil industry. Also, it has some military applications like the detection of objects and landmarks and the manipulation of objects and fall detection. We also have another application, which is self-driving cars. Machine learning is implemented heavily in self-driving applications, like pedestrian detection and sign detection, for example, in order for the car to execute proper autonomous, autonomous navigation. You also have the application of assistive devices, which are used to improve the quality of life for the differently abled and the elderly. For example, Machine learning is implemented for, for gait recognition, which is a part of a greater scheme called human activity recognition to provide suitable actuation torques for assistance. So right now we've entered something called the deep learning era, which is a subset of machine learning itself. Here is a curve that explains the relationship between the amount of data we have and the performance and also the different types of machine learning um, methods that we use. So for the traditional learning algorithms, which happen to be very famous around uh, the beginning of the 2000s, maybe, uh, the, the, the methods were quite traditional, like logistic regression, like linear regression, and other applications that will be introduced to throughout this course. But the thing is, there is a, some sort of stabilization or performance stabilization as the amount of data increases. That encouraged the development of more complex schemes for learning more complex tasks, which is known as deep learning. So by the introduction of these methods and by the presence of huge amounts of data, thanks to the internet and collection of huge amounts of data from users, now we can embed these um, huge amounts of data into more complex schemes in order to obtain a greater performance. So what exactly will we learn in these tutorials? We'll get introduced to basic machine learning approaches which construct the very basic foundation of today's machine learning. We'll also get introduced to neural networks which happen to have multiple types as we mentioned before. We'll learn how to tune the neural network performance in order to get the best optimal performance that we could get for a specific task. We'll also get introduced to some deep learning platforms like TensorFlow. And the most important part and where all the fun is concentrated is the applications part where we happen to work 
on several case studies related to machine learning problems. So right now I'll tell you to take the red pill and let's see how deep the rabbit hole goes. 